We're looking at parallel lines today, and the beauty about parallel lines is when they get cut by a transversal, that's this line T, you create eight angles, and they all have special relationships. For example, we have corresponding angles, things that are in the same place. We have alternate interior angles. Those things are equal as well. Those are on opposite sides of the transversal, and they're on interior of the figure. We also have alternate exterior angles. Those things are on the outside, and they're on opposite sides of the transversal. And we have same side interior angles. Those two angles are on the same side. These are another pair of same side interior angles right there, and those are supplementary. And so, uh, when we have these special relationships, the nice thing too, if they give me one angle, I'm gonna know every other angle on here. So for example, uh, this shouldn't say 100, well, it shouldn't say 140. Let's change this to angle one. Let's make angle one be 140. So if angle one is 140 degrees, we're gonna know every other angle on here because if you remember, Angle one and angle two are a linear pair. They make a straight line, and a straight line is 180 degrees. So if I take 180 degrees and I take away 140, I'm left with 40 degrees. So the measure of angle two is 40 degrees, and guess what? I now know every other angle because if that's 40, so is this one. They're vertical. These two are alternate interior, so six is also 40, and so seven is also 40 degrees. So every one of these are 40. And the big one is 140. That makes this one right here 140. That makes this one 140. And that makes this one here 140. And so the measure of angle eight is 140 degrees. So here's number two. And take a look at what they give us. They tell me measure of angle eight is three times the measure of angle three. What they're telling me is that this angle down here is three times bigger than this little one right in here. And they don't really tell me anything about angle three. So, but they do tell me that measure of angle eight is three times as big. So that makes this something I don't know. So angle three is gonna be X. So since measure of angle three is X, I now know that the measure of angle eight is three times that, and three times that looks like this. And we gotta find out the relationship between these things. Well, this is a little acute angle, and this is a big obtuse angle, and that means that together those things are gonna add up to 180 degrees. So my measure of X and my measure of three X together are going to make 180 degrees. Well, that if I combine my terms, I just get 4x equals 180. And then I'll divide um, both sides by 4. <coughs> and we get x is, and if you divide, uh, divide 180 by 4, get, uh, I think, 45. So x becomes 45 degrees because that's what that was. And the question was, what was the measure of angle eight? Well, eight was three times that. So if I multiply 45 times three, uh, that's gonna be 135 degrees. And right now I know every single angle on here because they're all either gonna be 45 degrees, like this is 45 degrees. This one's 45 degrees. This one over here is 45 degrees and everything else is 135 degrees. There's 135, this is 135. All the obtuse angles are 135. And that's pretty simple. All right, let's take a look. Here they're telling me angle one is, and whenever they're telling me about something, they're gonna tell me about angle one. That means I don't know the other thing. So the thing I don't know is I don't know what the size of angle three is. So when I don't know something, that's gonna be called X. But they told me angle one is, Five times that. So uh, angle three becomes x and angle one becomes five x. And if you take a look at the relationship between those, they make a straight line. And a straight line, you should remember, makes 180 degrees. So my equation will say that x plus five x, right? That's angle one and then that's angle three. Together, angle one and angle three make 180. 
So x plus 5x equals 180, and this is pretty basic stuff here once we go to solve this, because if I divide both sides by 6, I end up with x is 30. So that tells me that uh, the measure of angle 3 is 30 degrees, and that means there's three other angles out there that are 30. Uh, 7 is 30, 6 is 30, and so is 2. 2 and 3 are vertical to each other. And angle 1 is 5x, so 5 times that, that's 150 degrees. So the other angles on here, that's 150. Angle 1 is 150. Angle 4 is 150. Angle 5 is 150. And angle 8 is 150 degrees. Those things are all 150. All right, we got, we got a couple more problems left to go. And take a look at this. If you read, it says angle 2 is. That means we're going to be told something about angle 2. But they're going to have something they don't tell me about. And they don't tell me about angle 8. Angle 8 is this big question mark. They say angle 2 is 80 less than angle 8. That makes angle 8 x. I don't know what it is, but 80 less than x, that's this. x minus 80. So it says start with x, but then subtract 80. So angle 2 is x take away 80, and angle 8 is x. I'm going to go ahead and label this one. This right here is x minus 80. And we had to ask the question, are these things congruent or are they supplementary and add up to 180 degrees? You can see this is a big old obtuse angle. That's a little acute angle. They are not the same. So that means they must add up to 180. So this angle plus this angle will make 180 degrees. So let's do it this way. We'll go x minus 80. That's angle 2 plus the other angle, 8, those two added up are 180 degrees. And if I combine my like terms, x and x, that's 2x minus 80 equals 180. And last step, uh, we got two to go. Let's add 80 to both sides. That's going to give me 2x equals 260 degrees. And I'm going to divide by 2 x is 130 and so that means that this angle down here is 130 degrees and we already know three other angles because that's 130 degrees that's 130 degrees and this right here is 130 degrees and 130 take away 80 is 50 so that makes this 50 that makes this 50 and that makes this 50 so angle 8 is 130 degrees. That was the question. So we find the two angles. Angle 2 angle two is 50 degrees. And the measure of angle 8 was 130 degrees. Let's go to these two. Uh, this one, just to find the value of x, if that's all we're looking for, we just need to know how these two angles are related. They make a linear pair. They're directly on the same straight line. So there's the line that they make. And in a straight line all together, that adds up to 180 degrees. So if I know that they make 180 degrees, let's just write the equation that says this one plus this one equals 180. And we did this on the other lesson, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time on it, but I'll set it up. That's the first one. And here is the second one, 13x minus 5. That all together uh, is 180 degrees. Now... If I combine my terms, uh, 7x and 13x is 20x and plus 5, and minus 5 is nothing. So that's plus 0 uh, equals uh, 180. And if I divide by 20, just a one-step equation, x is 9. And that's it. So that was all we were asked to do. Let's take a look at the last problem, find the value of x. Again, we need to know the relationship between this angle. And if you take a look at those two, they are in the exact same place. Uh, if I were to circle those four angles right there and those four angles right there, these right here are both in the same exact spot. They're in a similar location. They're called corresponding angles, and they are congruent. So uh, this right here, uh, 12x plus 13, is the exact same number of degrees as 14x minus 5. So when we solve these, we want to move the smallest x first, which is that one right there. So I'm going to go ahead and take away 12x on both sides. So we'll take away 12x there. And we end up with 13 equals, and then that right there, 14x take away 12x, that's just 2x 
minus five. So then we'll finish the problem up. I'll just add five and it's a two-step equation right now. Seventh grade math here, 18 equals two X and X is nine. So if we were simply being asked to find X, X is worth nine. If I somehow wanted to find out how many degrees this was, 12 times nine is 108 plus 13 is 121 degrees. So that right there is 121 degrees, which means this right there is 121 degrees. So is this one, and so is this one, and this one right here, uh, this angle here will add up with 121 to be 180, and that means that if I subtract 180 and 121, these right here are all 59 degrees. And there you go.